Imagine sitting down to type an important document, only to find your keyboard suddenly acting like it's had one too many cups of coffee. Keys trigger the wrong letters. Shortcuts you've relied on for years no longer respond. Some buttons just stop. You start wondering if it's broken, if you accidentally changed something, or if Windows simply woke up in a bad mood. When your keyboard settings get scrambled, it can feel like someone swapped the steering wheel in your car for a joystick. The good news? You can reset your keyboard back to its default state in Windows 10 and 11 without needing a new one. Let's walk through exactly how to do it. First method is a quick device reset. Click the Start button and type Device Manager. Open it and find the keyboard section in the list. You'll see your keyboard name, often labeled something like HID Keyboard Device. Right-click it and select Uninstall Device. Windows will ask you to confirm, so hit Uninstall again. At this point, the keyboard will stop responding, so don't panic. Go to the top menu, click Action, and choose Scan for Hardware Changes. This prompts Windows to reinstall the keyboard with its original factory settings. Second method is the language swap reset. Open the start menu again and type settings. Once there, click time and language, then language and region. Here's where it gets interesting. You'll add a completely new language temporarily. Click add a language. Search for something like English Canada, if you already use English United States, and hit next. Make sure all installation boxes are ticked, then press Install. After it finishes, move up the new installed language so it's at the top of the list. And now, restart your computer. When the computer restarts, it will use the new language's keyboard settings. Now, you just reverse the process. So, go back into Language and Region, Move your original language back to the top and restart again. The switch wipes out any lingering customizations or glitches, effectively giving you a clean slate. You can delete the temporary language afterward if you like. Why does this happen in the first place? Keyboard issues in Windows often stem from small but impactful changes. Accidental hotkey presses that switch layouts, outdated drivers that throw off input, or even software conflicts that subtly alter settings without asking. Sometimes new software or updates overwrite preferences, and other times it's as simple as a language setting getting nudged out of place. The frustrating part is that you rarely notice what triggered it, only the chaos it leaves behind. That's why a full reset is so useful. It bypasses guesswork and tells Windows, forget everything you think you know about this keyboard. Start fresh. Once it's back to default, you can tweak your shortcuts, layouts, and preferences again with confidence that you're building on a clean foundation. So the next time your keyboard acts like it's been possessed, you'll know exactly how to snap it back to normal. And you might just type your next big project without your A key suddenly deciding it wants to be a Q 